Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be solving 2015 Amy 1 problem number 11. Triangle ABC has positive integer side lengths with AB equal to AC. So we have an isosceles triangle. Let's go ahead and prepare a sketch for this triangle. Make this slide longer, good. So that's our triangle ABC. We know that is AB and is equal to AC. And we are also given that I is the intersection of the bisectors of angle B and C. So let's assume this is the bisector of angle B. That is the bisector of angle C. And their intersection point is I. So this is an angle bisector here. This is another one. In fact, all these angles and huh, theta, theta, they are equal. Now, we are also given that bi is equal to 8. Find the smallest possible perimeter of triangle ABC. Um, well, upon just uh, simple observation, you can imagine that because of symmetry, the altitude will go through that point i. In fact, the altitude happens to be an angle bisector itself as well. So, um, so i is on that line for sure. And that restriction where all the side lengths are, have integer measures, so that's very crucial for us. And that's where we can get to uh, narrow the possibilities for the perimeter of triangle ABC. So le let me identify this point as D. Let's call this length BD as X, and therefore by symmetry DC is also X. ID, I'll call it R because it's the in radius. And for AB, I'll just use, um, um, let's, let's just call AB as Y. So, so AB is equal to Y. So now what I will do is, I would like to make use of trigonometry. There are various approaches to this problem. You can use pure geometric um, uh, solutions and uh, approach but in this example in, in this case in this lecture we will be using a trigonometric approach for this solution so I would like to focus on particularly on triangle ABD and IBD and we have these angles theta here I will um, make use of cosine of these angles to establish some relationship between X and Y so let's begin let's apply um, Let's find cosine theta first. So we have cosine theta is equal to x over 8. And we can also find cosine 2 theta, which is simply x over y. So cosine 2 theta is equal to x over y. Now using double angle formulas, we already know that cosine 2 theta is simply 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. And now we can go ahead and plug in uh, our values for cosine theta and cosine 2 theta. So co this implies x over y is equal to 2 times cosine theta was x over 8. So you will have x squared over 64 minus 1. And we can simplify the 2 and the 6, 30, 64 to get a 32. So we will get x squared minus 32 all over 32. You can even do a cross product um, to, to establish, huh? so that would further imply that 32x is simply equal to y times x squared minus 32. Now we need to make a couple of remarks here. So one of the things that we can immediately observe is that the left hand side is always greater than zero. And the right hand side should be also greater than zero. We already know y is greater than zero. So it must be the case that x squared minus 32 is greater than zero. So from here, we can say that x squared is greater than 32. Or x is strictly greater than 5.5. Second of all, when you look at triangle IBD, we can apply... Um, uh, well, at least bi is the hypotenuse, and as such, x must be definitely less than, strictly less than 8. So, um, 
in triangle IBD, we have that X must be strictly less than 8. But this already gives us some bounds for X itself. And furthermore, because we know this, that each side has integer measure, BC is an integer, meaning that X uh, in this range uh, can be either um, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5 only. And now we can go ahead and calculate the um, the result for y because this triangle is isosceles, the other side is also y. It turns out that when you plug in x is equal to 6, this implies that y is equal to using this equation here, um, or even this one actually, this would make our life easier. y would be simply x squared minus 32 over 32x. Uh, so the other way around, 32x, which is 32 times 6, divided by uh, 6 squared minus 32. From here, we get that y is equal to 48, which is an integer value, so that holds. Interestingly enough, for none of the other um, values for x, uh, we get... An integer value anymore is not integer so therefore this narrows down our search to only a single uh, answer single solution in which case one of the side lengths would be 12 6 times 2 because one of the side lengths is 2x so it is 12 and the other two side lengths are both 48 so therefore the answer to the question would be 12 plus 48 plus 48, we will have 96 here, plus 12 equals to 108. So that's the answer. Hope to see you in our next video.